Thanks, Shana. I am here now with Jasim Alawadi, the ICT CEO, and Salim Al Belushi, the CTIO for Duke. Uh, hi, good to good to have you both here. Did I get your names? Yeah, exactly. Mostly right. Yeah, okay. yeah both of them. Okay, are right. good, 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 good. Uh, to start, tell our audience a little bit about Do and the services that you provide. So Do is an integrated telecom service provider. We provide fixed and mobile services, and we actually we operate the fastest mobile network in the world, and fastest mobile fixed network as well. Uh, worldwide, so yeah, the UAE, the infrastructure in UAE for telecom and uh, both fixed and mobile are the fastest uh, infrastructure in the world, and this has been achieved by modernized infrastructure where we operate 5G network, and the footprint of 5G network, which is the latest mobile uh, generation uh, in the UAE, we have, we have covered 98.5 percent of the country is covered by our 5G network. And uh, a lot of uh, innovation are happening in the country, in telecom uh, specifically. And we are innovating as well beyond telecom, where the ICT subject is coming in place. Maybe Jasper can elaborate further. Yeah, uh, as, as uh, Salim have said, in 2016, do have decided to grow beyond the core. And ICT department was created at that time. Today we have uh, several offerings beyond the core, providing cloud services, security services, advanced tech services, AI services, data center services, those are the services that we are offering in the market today beyond our traditional telco services offerings that we have. So starting with that core and moving out into services. Uh, great, that's fantastic. And so I guess when I was in UAE, I was probably using the network if it covers 98%. So great, thank you. What, what does it take to compete at this level, especially in the ICT part of the business? Uh, competition in the ICT is really tough uh, for a lot of reasons because you are competing with an open landscape and unregulated territories. So you are competing with uh, giants in the industry, you are, you are competing against, uh, against middle level companies, you are competing against a lot of service providers. That's why you need to have an innovative offering, that's why you need to be very lean in the way you operate and the way you, you offer services in the market in order for you to be competitive and relevant to the market that uh, you are providing services with. And, and why did you choose to partner with Oracle to meet these needs of your customers and to compete with all of these yeah. players? So actually, from, from customer perspective, we strive, we're continuously looking for uh, continuous improvement. We are looking for an innovative, uh, pl a platform that enable innovation, that a platform that drive uh, excellency in customer experience and a platform that drives efficiency. So to be competitive, to have a competitive advantage in all these, in, in all these four domains, we did our assessment. Uh, of course, Oracle platforms, multiple different platforms provide such capabilities. And this is where a journey, we, this is the journey that we have started, moving some workload, some activities within our, our uh, infrastructure toward Oracle, uh, Oracle uh, implementation. Again, the, our ICT team are very more actively engaged in enabling this infrastructure and the capabilities. And uh, Yeah, actually, when we came to analyze the market and assess a couple of products that are there to fit the purpose of need, I think Oracle was, offer, was having the right offering in the market, which is Alloy. That's why we have signed this partnership with Oracle, where we will be implementing two Alloy regions okay. in UAE. And, of course, uh, the first set of migration will be done with our internal workloads, and then we will have another strategy for the go-to-market for our external clients, especially in the public sector and the government sector. And so, Alloy was kind of the, one of the big competitive advantages for why you chose Oracle over other yeah. providers. Yeah, of course, because uh, today, if you want to compete, uh, as a na if you want to position yourself as a national uh, hyperscaler, you need to have a full-fledged a cloud-capable platform. And the good thing about Alloy, and it's, a, it's a replica of the OCI. We can provide all kinds of services on top of Alloy in a sovereign uh, kind of offering that will suit our clients. Yeah, that's very important. And you have a large Oracle footprint. Um, can you explain the advantages that come from having um, ERP, HR, supply chain systems from Oracle and how they work together? Uh, see, see, from the day of inception, since 2006, uh, DOOS using Oracle ERP. I think, uh, 
our uh, our journey with ERP started long time back. Recently, we have migrated to the Fusion. It comes with a lot of advanced features, especially when it comes to AI and the simplicity of use. And today we are in that journey. And I think uh, Oracle Alloy will cement this because once we migrate our Fusion to the Alloy, we can open up all the databases that we have internally in order for us to use the real capability of the Oracle of the Fusion that we have today. And does that mean some of the workloads you're moving to Alloy that, that all of this will be able to work together with ERP and supply chain and so forth. All of this, you, you get the benefits of all of it working together. Yes, for sure. Okay, fantastic. Um, can you talk about some of the quantifiable benefits you've been able to achieve with Oracle? Actually, from, from workload perspective, we are in the journey and we are expecting, again, at this stage we are defining the KPIs. Okay. Uh, that will drive, uh, th that create value when we move the workloads. And those KPIs are focused on customer experience, time to market, uh, cost competitive advantage, uh, security as well. So all these capabilities and operational excellence. So, so we are specific, very, very specific and defining those, those capabilities. And we are, we are already embarked in the journey, defining the workloads, assessing these workloads, defining the KPIs, and after the migration, we review that how much we achieved from that set target. So it is a journey that we started. Security is very fundamental, actually, in this journey. And, and, uh, and we, we have a lot of confidence that moving in this in the, in the Alloy platform, it will upgrade and improve uh, the security capabilities that we, ha we have. You talked about customer experience being one of those. How will this partnership with Oracle help benefit your customers? So from a customer experience perspective, the availability of data, uh, infrastructure availability is key. As Jasim explained, the redundant uh, capabilities that has been built. Right. Uh, the performance that is expected uh, outcome of this new platform. Uh, the enablement of the platform, actually integration of the platform with AI capabilities as well. Okay. So the, we will be more, uh, we will be able to predict uh, if there are any expected failures in more proactive way. Uh, improve customer experience in, gen in general from uh, knowing more details about the customer. Uh, again, overall, the value creation is expected very uh, exponential by migrating the activities. And we expect, to, of course, customer will have better experience after moving the workloads that are touching uh, our customer's experience. When it comes to customer experience, I think what we missed in the previous year is to provide uh, the real cloud experience toward our customers. The traditional way of cloud offerings that we had, it lacked scalability, it lacked flexibility, it lacked a proper billing engine that all hyperscalers had before. And I think Oracle Alloy will provide us all of those capabilities so eventually customer experience will be elevated to the next level. And on top of this, as Salim have said, of course, the AI enablement uh, on spot to have it uh, offered to our clients is, is really key and crucial at this stage. Um, I know we're kind of on this journey here, but I just want to talk about what that roadmap looks like for your Oracle technology landscape. You've talked about some of it. What else are you planning? And I think uh, the most important topic for us now, because for us, Alloy is passed. It's already agreed, done, signed. Now we are looking at how we can get benefit of GPUs on top of Alloy, offering GPUs as a service, offering the GPUs to our clients, building the wrap of ecosystem uh, surrounding the GPUs and having a marketplace where we can have real IP offerings in the market. I think this will be the next big thing that we would like to explore with Oracle moving forward. And does that mean being able to offer AI services to your customers? Of course. Yeah. I think our, our biggest client, and uh, if he allow me, Salim, to talk on his behalf, will be our CT, CTIO, because today internally we have a lot of solid use cases when it comes to AI usage. That's why I think our first head start will be internally, and then we can expand toward our external clients. Great, well, it sounds like uh, there's a lot of mutual beneficial benefits in our partnership, so it's great to hear, and I can't wait to have you on again and talk about where you are in your journey throughout it. That's fantastic. Thank you both for joining. Thank you today. so much. Thank, Thank you. you.